Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna show you how I made these beautiful Petri dish coasters. So if you wanna see the techniques I use, then keep on watching. All right, so I start out with just putting the clear resin in the coasters first, and there's about two ounces in each one of these coasters and just sitting it with the heat gun to help with bubbles. Um, you don't have to let the resin thicken up before you do this. Um, you can just mix it and pour it right away. Um, I do let it sit maybe, you know, five or 10 minutes just to help it degas a little bit, um, but you don't have to wait. So now I'm starting out with a metallic Ranger alcohol ink. I like to put a few drops of this um, in when I'm using this technique and you do it first before um, you do the color but I like it because it adds just like this really interesting metallic effect that you can only see when you tilt the coaster in certain light like catches it so you'll see little glints here and there but as you can tell I don't cover the whole bottom I just um put a few drops. So those are the colors that I'm using for these coasters. So I was going for like a pink and purple theme. Um, and I'm just applying the inks. And you want to make sure you have good coverage. Um, you don't want any clear areas. So I'm putting, you know, quite a bit of ink in there. And then you'll see as I'm doing this, I go back in multiple times and add ink into spots where it looks like it's, um, you know, doesn't have as good coverage. And now I'm going in with the white and just like with the color, you want to make sure you have good coverage with the white. So I am using the Pinata Blanco Blanco. It's got a nice ability to sink, but it doesn't sink all the way through the coaster. Um, I don't really end up with any blobbies or anything, which is really nice. Um, if you use a heavier ink or a different kind of um, a white, you may end up with the blobs. Um, you also want to make sure that you're putting the color and the white over top of the metallic. If you decide to use the metallic, it will, you can see it's kind of sinking through the metallic, um, but the metallic will stay on the top. It's, it's a super cool effect how they kind of go underneath the metallic. And you'll see that at the very end um, where the, tops of the coasters are pretty much just the metallic ink.
after I'm done putting the white on, then I let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and every resin is different, but you wanna take a toothpick and just gently touch the resin and pull it out. And if it pulls up like a string of resin, then you know it's good um, to do your swirling. Um, I waited just a tiny bit too long. The metallic ink actually was starting to dry on top of these coasters. Um, so I, you can maybe see it there as I'm going through it. It almost looks like cottage cheese. So I waited just a little bit too long, but it ended up being okay. Um, but you just take a toothpick and gently swirl it through all of the ink. And you can make all different shapes with your swirls. I'm doing the same um, the same pattern on each of these, but you could do them all different. You just want to make sure that your stick or toothpick, whatever you're using, you don't touch the actual bottom of the coaster because you don't want to scratch your mold. Um, so just do it gently and consistently and uh, you can make some really cool designs. So after they cured about a day, I put a layer of black on the back and you can see it there. And the reason I do this is it makes the colors so much more vibrant. Before I put the black on, these were really pastel. And then once you do the black, they just, they get so much richer. And if you look in little spots here and there as I'm moving the piece around, you can see tiny areas that are a little bit reflective and that's from the metallic. Um, it's not real obvious, it's not in your face, but it's just enough to add a little bit more depth to the piece. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and share the video, and I'll see you next time.